Hey everyone, Steph here from Old Guy Mills Plastic. So another project that I'm working on right now is the Tridex build. So Tridex is a uh, Voron Trident uh, platform printer build that includes, it's called a Tridex because it's a Trident and an Idex. Idex stands for uh, independent dual extruders. So we have two tool heads that operate independently from each other. Uh, and can be leveraged to print different filaments in either a tool head or and or um, you can have it do mirror mode where both tool heads mirror each other's actions and so you can print two mirrors of the same part at the same time. You can also do copy mode where you're making two copies of the same part. So uh, there's a few different options with the Tridex um, and I've been working on this build for a while now uh, in the middle of you know trying to do other things. Uh, as free time permits. Um, so right now I've got the Tridex uh, bed assembly done. Uh, I am using the um, kinematic bed mount for this build. And then the tool heads are uh, rapid burner tool heads by Chirpy with currently paired with um, Sherpa mini extruders, which I've got mounted on top. They'll be running CAN bus um, and they'll be using Big Tree Tech EBB36 tool heads um, over CAN bus um, to the electronics bay down below. So the electronics bay is what uh, is a mod called inverted electronics. The uh, bottom deck plate will be uh, easily removable and just kind of tilt it and slide it out. Um, and so the idea is that the bottom deck plate can be removable if you need to get at or service or change any of the settings on the electronics components. Um, I'm running a Big Tree Tech Octopus. Uh, this is in fact an Octopus Pro, sorry, my mistake. A Big Tree Tech UTC, and this is a Raspberry Pi 4B. I've got a five volt power supply. I've got my Crytum SSR, uh, some Wago clips here to distribute power. And then this is a uh, Meanwell LRS 35024. Um, gave it a little bit more power because it is going to be powered, powering two different hot ends potentially simultaneously. Uh, the hot end I'm choosing for this build is a Rapido V1. I happen to have a few of them uh, lying around not being used at the moment. And it's a pretty capable um, uh, hot end provided that it doesn't... Um, exhibit any of the telltale problems that Rapidos have been prone to do, but so far I've been lucky and not seen any of those issues on my own printers yet. Um, so uh, a couple other things going on here. We have uh, some wire guides at the back that are hiding all of the um, motor wires that are coming down from the gantry down to the electronics bay. I've got a self-printed uh, cable chain and then another wire guide on the other side. Um, I have alternated the colors here so that the primary colors on the left are uh, the sky blue and the alternate color, or um, what's the word they use? The accent color is uh, the purple mist. And then on the right, the opposite is true. So my primary color is purple mist and my accent color is sky blue. So there you have it. Um, still some more work to do, but we're getting, we're getting closer to being done and melting some plastic on this printer. Um, I'll follow up with updates as I can. Thanks for watching.